Okay, so I've had some of you asking how you can do digital art or create a drawing online. So I'm going to show you all how, the easiest way you can do that from your Google Classroom. And mine is a teacher account, so I can't show you from mine. So I'm actually going to click on Coach Russell's just for an example to show you. So you would go to your classwork, you would find your lesson, and click View Assignment. And then if this was your artwork to add, you would add it here. And I know y'all have seen this drop down menu and it looks confusing. So instead of uploading a photo, which you would do here if you had a photo on your computer, you go down to drawings and you click on that. It's going to create a blank document for you to create a drawing on. I'm going to it load it on. Now I'm going to click on it so I can see it. Okay, you have different tools that you can use to make your drawing. This is your blank canvas. So you have a text box if you want to type something. Oops. You have shapes if you want to create something. You've got all kinds of shapes here. You've got smiley faces, hearts, different things, arrows, bubbles, and that's more math symbols. But let's just do a heart. And to be able to change that heart, you can change it here. If I want to make it purple inside, I can change how big. This is going to change how big the um, line is around it. You can change the color of that line. Oh, that's for my text. Sorry, wrong one. You can change the color of the border. So I'm going to do blue, red. And you can come in here and these are the lines. It's got different types of lines. If you're wanting to free draw, you're going to click on this one that says scribble. So you'll be able to draw whatever you want with this. You could sign your name. You can write your initials. You can do any type of drawing with this. It's The only thing is it's a little bit trickier. Um, especially on a computer because you're having to use a mouse unless you just so happen to have like a, a tablet pen or something that you can use. And then it's actually going to automatically save it for you. So if y'all saw just now it just said it saved it to the drive. So all I have to do now is close it and it's going to be there. So if I'll check on it again it's going to look the same because it automatically saved it for me up there in the corner. So I can close it and then I would push turn in. So that's it. So if you want to do a digital drawing instead of drawing on paper or you happen to not have very much paper at home, then that's another option for you. Uh, you could also add it, a photo to that too. So you could even make like a collage of different things you've drawn or different photos to add to your artwork. That's it, guys. I hope that helps y'all. If y'all need help with anything else, just email me or let me know on our Google Classroom.